Hi, I'm George. Welcome to Mali Way. Today we'll be talking about the CATL. From those who don't know, it's a leading Chinese company in EV batteries. But considering its recent business operations, we think it may want to build cars. Actually, CATL will not build cars itself, but it will certainly want to control car makers so that it can stand at the top of the profit chain. This is what every suppliers with a scale or tech dominance in core components want to do. On October 31st, 2022, CATL announced its cooperation with Vinfast, a Vietnamese car company on CIIC. This in essence is a skateboard chassis, just like what Rivian made last year. It can be seen as the evolution of the integration of vehicle and electricity following the CTC technology. In fact, CTL integrated chassis project has already started in February 2022. Last year, the release of its battery swapping solution was its chassis building attempt using car batteries separation technology. But this year, the skateboard chassis is quite the opposite. It realized a combined production of batteries and chassis with the ultimate car battery integration. Either way, CATL wants to take part in the whole process of the car making, aiming to maintain its leading position in the industry. Well, the reasons are simple. Although CATL is the absolute leading supplier of the power batteries worldwide, with market value higher than BYD, Chang'an, and Geely combined, it is still under heavy pressure from car makers and other battery companies. While the price of raw materials such as lithium carbonate is still soaring, it has to stabilize the profit by charging more from the car factories. Because of the particularity of the batteries, there are many car makers saying that we are just working for CATL, so they want to look for another suppliers even want to produce their own batteries. In the same time, Tesla, BYD, and other manufacturers are doing their own CTC or CTP projects so that they can reduce reliance on CATL. Facing the potential crisis, CTL's determination to expand have become extremely strong. Every business that is related to the separation of battery and chassis, it wants in. Last year's battery swapping solution was mainly aimed at the travel market with high requirements for energy replenishment efficiency. This year's skateboard chassis is a stronger ambition. It plans to cooperate with OEMs to define their chassis machinery and electronic and electrical architecture. Mastering the skateboard chassis means mastering a series of cutting-edge technologies, such as integration of battery pack and chassis, the chassis bywire technology, and the centralized E&E &E architecture technology. The result of all technology integration is to reshift the value chain and the business model of the automobile industry and rebuild its own system. Just like today's computer industry, where a few high-tech enterprises such as Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, who has already established the core standards for OEMs like Lenovo, Dell, and Asus to manufacture computers accordingly. At this day, CATL has done all that it can about power batteries, but it's nowhere near enough. It still needs to step out of original business scope and further enhance the importance of power batteries in EV by integrating chassis technology with battery. If this technology turns out to be a huge success, CATL will become a super supplier. Today's achievement of this company is accomplished by strategic planning. It invests in upstream suppliers, securing its own supply chain, and binds customers through cooperation, thus make scale group and capital operation support each other. The logic is the same when it comes to skateboard chassis. Most OEMs are willing to cooperate with CATL may have following features. They have a need to maintain certain production capacity. They lack R&D ability. And without much ambition, 
In other words, with the core technology of skateboard chassis, CATL could provide all-around solution for those OEMs. Moreover, if this works, there will be more companies seeking cooperation. Standardized chassis, electric drive, power battery, and electronic control may accelerate the homogenization, giving the impression that CATL is building cars. This is how it expands its business and maintains its position. In fact, in the era of EV, it's not unusual for CATL to become a super supplier. NVIDIA and Huawei also play the similar rules in their field. It's basically taking part of the works and the profits away from OEMs while enhancing their EV making capabilities. Even if some OEMs are unsatisfied with the monopoly of CATL and started to find a second suppliers or even make their own batteries, the power battery industry will still be a typical long-term cyclical one with mutual and dynamic market choices. The so-called decatalization is a long process from the perspective of OEM. And in the process, CATL will also attract new customers and develop new business to ensure that even if the power battery installation volume declines, it still can have the designed revenue and profit. Under such encirclement, CATL is determined to seek change. At the end, let's discuss something about the skateboard chassis. On the plus side, if it does become widely used, there will be fewer rubbish EVs. However, the homogenization of the cheaper cars could be worse, and you might feel the same when driving different EVs. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share it with your friends.